Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the changes and updates that are currently going on this week in Grand Theft Auto Online as another edition of the Grand Theft Auto Online bonuses. So, I can hear you guys now, you're saying, Mr. Boss for the win, where's the DLC trailer, where's more information on the DLC, where's the newswire information, screenshots, etc. You guys got to relax. Rockstar even stated on their Bikers Newswire that they were going to be doing these event weeks uh, you know, throughout the coming months, etc., cetera, uh, they said they're going to be offering more discounts and money-making opportunities. So that is a thing that's going to be going on, even though we are anticipating more information to drop about the bikers DLC and more in Grand Theft Auto Online. So I just wanted to get you guys uh, up to speed as far as that goes, that even though we are anticipating DLC information, these weeks are still going to be going, typically and most likely every Friday. So this week we have another addition to, like I mentioned earlier, the Grand Theft Auto Online bonuses, which are gonna be going on from today, which is Friday, September 23rd, and gonna be ending next Thursday, technically next Friday, September 29th. Now there's two very important things about this event week. One of them is the content inside that to me suggests that the biker DLC might be the most expensive DLC we've ever received just based off of what I'm kind of getting at right now. And number two, the dates are also important as well. We'll touch on that a little bit later. So let's jump straight into the content that is inside and why I believe the biker DLC might be the most expensive of all time has to do with these first three things we're gonna be talking about and they're great news for Grand Theft Auto Online players that are looking for money. So the first opportunity is double GTA cash and RP in the Lamar Lowrider missions. So Rockstar states Lamar is hatching a scheme to become the ruler of Los Santos' lowrider scene and needs some loyal subjects to help put him on the throne. So I don't know how many of you guys have done the Lamar Lowrider missions. I think there's eight in total. They're actually really cool. They're like kind of mini campaign missions where you follow Lamar around and he teaches you about lowriders and gang life and whatnot. So the fact that you're getting double money and RP in this is certainly a nice bonus because you can earn some pretty nice cash kind of individually but due to the fact that these are now double money and RP, that is certainly a nice bonus that you guys really do need to take advantage of here. So that's the Lamar Lowrider missions. There's also going to be two times GTA cash and RP in the Entourage adversary mode. So if you guys have never played Entourage, it basically requires tactical teamwork where bodyguards transport a well-armed and armored target to a destinated extraction point while the team of assassins ultimately try and take down this target. Now, basically, this is like a poor man's Grand Theft Auto 4 Cops and Crooks, where there's not really any vehicles, but the idea is the same. You've got one group looking to get to one location, and you've got another group looking to stop that group from getting to that location. So, it's actually pretty fun, and the fact that it's double GTA money and RP on all the Entourage modes is super nice. I should also mention that about the Lamar Lowrider missions, that all of them are going to be these two times money and RP. So, it's nice that you're not stuck in a little bit of a place playlist, which is what Rockstar typically do. So that's ex an extremely nice feature right there. But wait, there is more. There is also two times GTA money and RP and a stunt race playlist that is all about supercars and features the following stunt races. So it's Chiliad, Plummet, Canyon Crossing, and Vespucci. So right there, that is three double money and RP opportunities in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, Rockstar is in no way required to do this. In fact, they don't, they're not obligated at all to do these bonus weeks, but even when they do the bonus weeks, they rarely offer any time more than just one double money and RP opportunity. And typically when they offer a, a two times cash and RP opportunity like this, it's typically stuck to a playlist. This is two full-fledged money-making opportunities for entire game modes and missions and a four race supercar stunt race to earn double money and RP. I mean, that is absolutely insane. Rockstar really hit it out of the park this week with some incredible opportunities to make money. So if you are short on cash, this is the week to take advantage of it because I doubt we will ever see anything like this going forward. I mean, three opportunities, that is pretty insane. Now, what I think this ultimately means and what I think what Rockstar wants us to take as a hint here is that this update is going to be expensive. In fact, I think it might be the most expensive update we've ever seen 
even though it doesn't feature some of the other things we've seen in DLCs, like big offices and supercars. I think in its own way, Rockstar might secretly be trying to like say, hey, save your money here. This is going to be expensive because they've been dropping a lot of hints recently. I mean, there was a new shark card bonus that was going on as well that is ultimately extended into this week also. So that is something new and that is something that's going to be going on as well. So if you're an opted in member and receive receive one of these messages, I believe Rockstar is going to be uh, doing the exact same shark card bonus for you as well, where they give you a certain percentage back if you buy a shark card and then they just deposit it into your Maze Bank account. So that's something else that's going on this week in addition to all of the bonuses and all of the discounts that we're seeing right now. But to me, this is Rockstar's kind of wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hint, hint that, yeah, this DLC is going to be pretty expensive and that the biker's update might be very, very pricey and that you ultimately will probably need to save up so that when the content does come out, you'll be ready to go. Now, there's also some pretty crazy discounts going on here that you guys definitely need to take advantage of. There's gonna be 25% off some pretty epic supercars, even one that's pretty recent. So, like I said, going on now through the 29th, you can get 25% off of the T20, which is one of my favorite supercars, the Zentorno, another one of my favorite supercars, and the ETR1. So like my top three out of five supercars are all getting a 25% bonus. Once again, I'm really not too sure what the theme of this is or why that is so random, but you are gonna be getting some pretty nice discounts there, especially on the T20 and ETR1 because they are so expensive. But I would still caution you guys to save your money here because even though you're getting 25% off, you're still gonna be spending millions of dollars uh, on those those supercars right there. So I would advise you guys to be very careful about spending your money, but those are some nice discounts on those supercars. There's also 25% off of the standard and armored baller. So both those versions of the Gallivanter baller are 25% off at Legendary Motorsports this week. You can also receive 25% off Buckingham vehicles. So Elitist Travel is giving you 25% discount on a handful of vehicles, including the Volatus, the Swift, the Swift Deluxe, the Luxor and the Luxor Deluxe. Now, I will issue a big warning here. Just don't buy the Swift Deluxe and don't buy the Luxor Deluxe. Those are the two most overpriced vehicles of all time. You definitely need to avoid them. For what they're worth, they do not provide that much of a greater benefit. So uh, use it on the Volta Swift and Luxor, but ignore the deluxe versions. I'm definitely giving you guys that warning right there. And finally, last but not least, there is a premium stunt race, as Rockstar always do, and this edition is called East Coast. Now, East Coast, like I said, is going to offer triple RP for those who play, and it's going to give you the podium-style winner payout. So uh, first place, 100,000, second place, 30 and then obviously third place is going to get their money back. So that's the stunt race right there. But basically what else we can get from this event week is actually rather interesting. And it comes from the date. Now Rockstar is not going to release a DLC during this event week. And that seems pretty likely. It would be incredibly unlikely for them to drop a biker DLC during this uh, event week that's currently going on September 23rd through September 29th, which basically confirms that we're not gonna be getting the biker update in the month of September. Because we know how much Rockstar love releasing DLCs on a Tuesday, and because next week is completely taken up by this event week, the next possible release date would be uh, Tuesday, October. October 4th. So it looks as if our September dreams of a biker DLC are sadly coming to a close, but that isn't to say that we cannot get more information next week, just like we did this week about the biker update or the next DLC in Grand Theft Auto Online. So that's exactly what I'm telling you guys. Next week, what we need to be on the lookout for is either more information or a trailer, but it is incredibly unlikely. I'm going to say about 99% unlikely that we will be getting the biker update next week, just it would interfere and conflict with all of the updates that we've seen so far, all the additions that have been added into the game through this Grand Theft Auto Online bonuses week. But also, like I mentioned earlier, there's still a few things we need to get to. Rockstar need to give us some more information, likely drop a trailer, announce a release date. And of course, at the time I'm making this video, none of that has happened yet. And another thing I thought was pretty weird about this update is it really didn't have a theme. I thought Rockstar was going to jump more in towards prepping for the biker DLC, maybe putting some discounts on 
leather jackets and leather vests or maybe discounts on bikes or uh, bonuses for cruising around with other players. I thought they were going to do something like that, although I am definitely very appreciative of the double money and RP opportunity. So that's pretty much it as far as this week goes in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I do believe I am going to be live streaming later today. And also, let me know if sometime over the weekend or next week, if you want me to live stream the double money opportunity that being the Lamar Missions, Entourage, and the Stunt Race playlist uh, on my channel as well. So let me know in the comment section down below. But of course, without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.